the release of veteran left tackle Riley Reef this week, the Vikings do have a need at the blind side, but the betting favorite is still 2020 second round pick Ezra Friggin Cleveland. Does make sense, but aha, Orlando Brown Jr. has entered the chat. A few weeks ago, it was reported that Brown won a trade so he could play left tackle. Uh, Ravens are obviously good with the big-time extended Ronnie Stanley. Uh, this week, it was reported that six teams were in on Zeus Jr. And a guy, Darren Doogie Wolfson, KSTP Sports, reports that the Vikings are indeed one of the six teams that they have had conversations. Now, it doesn't mean that anything is in- imminent. I mean, the Vikings, if it's true that there are really six teams in, they're not the only bell at the ball. Plus, a conversation is a conversation. It could be like, uh, hey, hey uh, Eric DaCosta, we want Orlando Brown. No. Click. That counts as a conversation. Or, hey, do you want to sell 10 Bitcoins and I'll kick you in the nuts? Uh, no. That technically counts as a conversation. But the Vikings should have an open mind, even with free agency and the draft coming up. Yes, Ezra could be a phenomenal left tackle. I think that he's going to be that dude. But, but. If the Vikings are able to land uh, Orlando Brown Jr., who last year played one of the, like one of the best left tackles in the game, or Trent Williams, or they draft Christian Derrissaw or Rashawn Slater, that would change the calculus. That does change things. Ezra, hey, Boise, better get comfortable at guard. Uh, yes, you would have to trade for Brown and have to pay him in the near future, likely $20 million per year uh, as he's heading into the final year of his rookie deal. But Dude is a nail driver. He is. So let's talk about him today. Background: twenty-four years young, six foot eight, three fifty-five. He's an ounce. Woo! Son of the late great Orlando Brown Sr., uh, who was a tackle for the Browns and the Ravens, tragically passed away in twenty eleven. Junior played his college ball at Oklahoma. Was a unanimous All American in twenty seventeen. Teammates with Drew Smith back in the day. Uh, he had a historically bad combine where it just was not his day. But from the film, you knew that he was a plus athlete at his size. But there were some worries about his weight, about where work ethic, etc. Fell in the draft, but not terribly far. Number 83 overall in the third round. Baltimore scooped him up. Started at right tackle right away. Made his first Pro Bowl in his second season in 2019 after allowing only 21 pressures and three sacks. Posted an 83.3 PFF pass blocking grade, which was best in the NFL amongst right tackles. Woo! Uh, Played left tackle for 416 pass blocking snaps in 2020 after Ronnie Stanley went down with that really Horrific looking injury right after Stanley signed his extension, by the way. So you, you like that timing, uh, but then only allowed 19 pressures and zero goose egg D'Angelo Russell sacks. So yeah, that, that's why he is extremely tempting, even though this tackle class is pretty good. Are you going to draft a tackle that you hope is as good as Orlando Brown jr? Mm, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but when it comes down to train compensation, first off, let's get out of here with the Lulu pie in the sky. Well, you know, we'll just trade Anthony Barr straight up or like Anthony Barr and a conditional six-round pick for Zeus. No, it ain't happening. Or, well, we'll give you a third-round pick, but it's not going to be the good third-round pick and on a future fifth. No, that that is not going to happen. I ain't going to get it done, especially if there are really six teams in the mix, including Jacksonville, who does have a plethora of extra draft capital uh, as well. Uh, plus, I mean, Ravens GM Eric DaCosta is a friggin' gangster. He is. Remember, he's the one who worked the Vikings in the Yannick, the freaking Gakwe deal, midseason 2020, and the Corey Vedvik deal. Getting a fifth-round pick for a kicker slash punter who cannot kick or punt. Woo! You like it. Mm. Uh, so, realistically, it's going to cost the Vikings. Like, if the Vikings want to be in the Orlando Brown business, it could be prohibitive because it could be either 14 or an established starter like Adam Thielen or Harrison Smith. All those are logical because Ravens do need wide receiver help. I think Adam Thielen would be phenomenal for Lamar Jackson outside and also in the slot. Him and Hollywood Brown and Miles Boykin, sure. Harrison in that secondary certainly has a couple of good years left uh, and is in the final year of his contract. But imagine Harrison taking the place of Earl Thomas ostensibly, Marcus Peters, Marlon Humphrey. Woo! That would be sick. Uh, finished his career in Baltimore like Eric Weddle did a couple years ago. Uh, and then 14, of course, is a first-round pick. And who doesn't love those? So not only are you giving up big draft capital or a significant starter to uh, get Zeus, and then you have to pay him, but would it be worth it? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, again, he's only 24, and last season he played like one of the best left tackles in the league. He was phenomenal. He's got that rare size, uh, and he's way more athletic than his combine showed, obviously. Uh, he really is Bryant McKinney if Bryant McKinney gave two poops uh, about the game. So is 14 worth that? Or an aging out Thielen or Harrison? 
Maybe. Maybe. Because think about what, what you would do with 14. You, you draft Derisaw or maybe a Slater Falls, and you hope that they're as good as Orlando Brown. Or you take ABT, you play him at guard, then you play Ezra left tackle, hoping that he's as good as Orlando Brown. So as, as expensive as it sounds, and it's going to be expensive. Again, the, the Ravens aren't settling. It might be worth it. It might be worth it. And, and maybe the conversation was just like, hey, you win? No. But maybe it grows beyond that. And maybe Vikings uh, of those six teams are the one who puts the best offer on the table and they do get it done. But we'll see. Again, it's a long ways off, but big time, big time. Uh, Your thoughts, Vikings, Orlando Brown, them and the Ravens having conversations. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.